his productivity is not what I would say up to par. Basically, he, he um, got in our way. Uh-oh, what are you cutting? <laughs> Four chainsaw cuts? I'm gonna, because they're so accurate. I'm gonna cut you. I think I'm gonna start with you, and then after that, I won't have to answer any more questions. Val does an awful lot of talking and produces very little. I mean, no matter what we do, it's when we start up the, the table, so we go, whoa, using the table saw, huh? Or the chainsaw, it's like, whoa, you're using the chainsaw. And it's like, what? We know what to do. <laughs> Oh, you got to be kidding. <laughs> now that, you're, that you're I'm going to take as a joke. Next time, next time I'm going to let you design everything. That I'm going to take as a joke. You designed everything? I thought you were going to Yeah, yeah, hold on. How many engineers do we have on this job? Because if we have two engineers, all we need is one. Coming up, Flash and Bill do a little male bonding. He's my buddy, and I'll go for it. <laughs> then, it's really heavy metal time. That's a huge cannon. 3,000 pounds. When doing Da Vinci returns. Next time I'm gonna let you design everything. That I'm gonna take as a joke. So we're starting the build of the machine gun today. I decided to give Flash and Bill a hand doing some of the wood cuts over there. It seemed to get under their skin quite a bit. And really, how long do you think Jurgen would last with just you two? <laughs> right? what we're doing but he's got a comment about it and that that shows when the when a person does that it shows that they really don't have anything else to do but mind someone else's business which i find to be boring and very unattractive the yoke piece that we worked on today was extreme Want some room? You have to make something very round at the very end of a very long piece of, of timber. So what we did was we made the major cuts with the chainsaw. We were able to hold it up to the bandsaw, and we actually were able to make a round section at the end of this log, which is virtually impossible to do. He loves this saw, right? And I knew he wanted to do this with that, and I said, okay, you know? I mean, he's my buddy, and I'll go for it. I just couldn't believe that we could do this with a band saw today, but we did. We did. We got it done. <laughs> sure, sure, no problem. That makes round cuts, but it does. All right, so I'm looking for a part that I want to make. Basically, it's the outer triangle plates that will actually be holding our cannons in place. Structurally, this is pretty important, and, you know, we want to make sure these things are robust enough. So I've got some time, I'm going to just jump over and start making the parts that uh, I need. Metal. I was just thinking... So the triangles have been sitting here all night for the machine gun. They've uh, had time to cure and dry. Basically, all the glue's dried. So now the idea is I'm just going to plane down the edges just to clean them up a little bit. And uh, I need Jurgen's help here. He's going to help me lift these things on the planer because they're just heavy. Ready? Pull, pull in. There you go. What is it? It's not like I'm intrigued to see how this is working. Stuck to it. It's not moving. Jeez. Oh, I love how he's just working the way. Flash isn't gonna like that. The glue. We're gonna paint it. Man, it's hot over here. I told you. Let me tell you. It you is hot over shoes here. Shoes over here. I know. I know. Well, it's because you're working a little bit too. You know. Let me. Let me take a look. You mind? Let me just take a look now. So you know what? Flash and I decided to turn the tables for once. Give him a taste of his own medicine. You know. Payback's a bitch. It's like, it's oh, below 54 now. I know. You sure? We're taking that into, yeah, we're taking that into consideration already. <laughs> right, because you got the engineer with you. That's why he can change the plans. Exactly. <laughs> is that what it is? Oh, well, from now on, I'm going to have him come over with me then. I would honestly say, don't, don't worry about what we're doing. <laughs> We 
just got our steel tubes in for our cannons. And uh, I got to say, once you look at them, they look a lot bigger than you expect. This is what you've got that's coming big, right toward you. That's Boom. a big hole. So this is the cannonball we're going to be firing out of our crazy, enormous cannons for a machine gun build. This is a six-pound ball. Now, to give you some idea of reference, when we built the tank, the Da Vinci tank, we were firing a two-pound ball. These things did a great deal of damage. So these six-pound balls are just insane. Same and are there. we still planning on firing these all at once? 11 cannons That's the boom. idea. You know, on top of all the craziness that we're thinking about and this thing firing and all this good stuff, we're not even 100% sure how to, how to use this thing. Well, you know what? You know, when you start thinking about that, you go, well, if you fired one at a time, if you went in a row, this thing might go boom, 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 right. boom. You know, sorry, Mike. By the 11th one, it might be facing you. When we look at Leonardo's design of the machine gun, we see a device which is going to do incredible damage on the battlefield. And it's something which seems to be designed to maximize how much suffering it can cause. And yet this is Leonardo. Everybody who writes about him talks about his grace, his gentle spirit. And this seems to be such a dark side to him that he would do this. I, I guess I didn't figure on... That's the lock. That's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you, go, look at how cool these are. They're giant. I'm pretty sure this could go through a car long ways. It's not stopping for anything. So when you realize how much violence is going on in this thing, especially times that by 11, going off at one time, you know, whether this thing's going to survive or not, I have no idea. I, I kind of think it's going to destroy itself before anything. Coming up, a frustrated Flash brings the hammer down. And later, Bill pushes it past the breaking point. Didn't happen. When Doing Da Vinci returns. We are now continuing to work on the wheels for the machine gun. We've made in the past solid wheels. These are actually going to have uh, spokes. It's going to make it look really nice. Here we go. Now we've got a, a blade that's a little short, and uh, it makes it difficult to get the boards out. I have to go use the sledge. The problem being is when you do this, it tends to bust the uh, bottom. Flash, he started the spokes, and you know, I hear sledgehammering and sawing, and I'm like, my wheels. I'm like, I can do some of them if you want to take a break. Nah! He's a tough train to stop. I mean, he just goes for it. Remember you said you wanted to make it look weathered and beat up? <laughs> I was, I, yeah. This particular build has been uh, a very deceiving as far as to how tough it really is. When you start cutting in the spokes on these wheels, it just made it really difficult. But, you know, now we're into it. It'll get done. Ready to sand or you want to? Yeah, I'll start sanding and you can cut there. I, I got to, I want to saw these parts. I came over late in the afternoon and made some spokes. I didn't have to use a sledgehammer. Things were popping out. And he had every excuse in the book, blades bending, whatever, whatever. I just think he was, he was a little stronger than he needed to be. And you know, in the back end, there was a lot more work that had to be done. Now it's the drill. Now the drill won't cooperate anymore. <laughs> And this thing just keeps coming off. It re it's refusing to, like, deal with me now. No, if I can't get things 